You get a lot of controversy between the two teams. Hola, what's up? It's your boy Jamal15. And I'm Max Whittle, and this is episode six of Bases Covered. Max, yes. do you know what week it is? It's rivalry week. Rivalry! I am the best at this. Nah, you ain't gonna mess with this. Ever heard of what the veteran means? I work hard and the most to be with the rhythm. So here's how it works. We're building a celebrity baseball team to learn more about the game before the new MLB season starts. Each week we cover a different theme and add a star player to our lineup. And when restrictions lift, we are going to get the team together and play the ultimate game of baseball. So press subscribe, smash on that like button, comment down below, tuck yourself in, cause this week it's all about rivalries. Come on lads, let's have it. <laughs> It might surprise you to learn that there are baseball teams out there older than most British football teams. The Atlanta Braves franchise was born in 1871, originally known as the Boston Red Stockings. So you can guess there have been one or two pretty major rivalries grown over that time. And that means there is some serious passion. And on the field, it can get pretty heated. Let us show you what we mean. Right, what new fans need to know about the Red Sox-Yankees rivalry? Boston won the Ooh. first ever World Series. Harry Fruzzy then sold Babe Ruth, who is known as the greatest baseball player ever, to the Yankees. The Yankees have won 27 World Series titles and the Red Sox, well, they didn't win a title until 2004, nearly a century. So because Tyler Austin slid hard into second base on that last play, Joe Kelly gets the Ooh, chance to throw cage. him. The catcher should do more here. Why Ribby. is the catcher not getting in front of him? Ah, look at him, he's like, you! I mean, <clears throat> I mean. Tyler Austin takes his helmet off to then just dive to the floor. Joe Kelly goes right through him and he just falls to the ground. Okay, the second one. Now, Toronto and Texas, so far apart, not a traditional rivalry, but since 2015, it's been one of the best. They do not like each other, and it all started in the 2015 ALDS Game 5. Jose Batista hits a home run to give the Blue Jays the lead for the final time. He doesn't just bat flip, he chucks the bat nearly into the stands, <laughs> admires it, and we have the present day. This is a year later, and Matt Bush has his chance. Oh, wow. Hits Jose. <laughs> Look at his rent. Just wait for it, though. Batista slides into second base here when he can, a bit late there on oh, Rooney oh, Odor. wow. And Odor says, you know what, Batista? I don't like you very much. Now, you know a lot of these fights, Jamel, they're not really fights, they're fights. But this, yeah. I'm holding myself back. But do you want to go? I promised myself I'd never hit a child. <laughs> That's right, it's a rivalry week. And we thought we need to add someone to our team who can give us the upper hand when it comes to those must-win crunch Games. Yes, indeed, and we found just the person. If you didn't know, have a look at Jamel's chair and then realize he is also a massive gamer. So we thought we'd create our own little rivalry <laughs> on the show. I'm ready, bring it on. It's presenter, podcaster, and most importantly, gamer, Els The Witch. Welcome to the show. You've made it to the team. The base is covered all stars. How do you feel? I feel flattered. I mean, it's a great honor. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for accepting me in the team. So Els, obviously we've all been stuck inside during lockdown, but as a gamer, have things stayed pretty much the same for you? Yeah, my life's pretty much the same. I was self-isolating before lockdown, so I've been preparing <laughs> for this for like the past year. <laughs> Els, this week's episode is all about rivalry. You've got a big presence in gaming. Do you have any rivals? I'd say half of my subscribers are my rivals because they just tease me all the time. <laughs> I always see the gamers with the little microphone talking trash to the other people they're playing against. Do you have any one-liners? Because baseball, of course, is famed for smack talk as well. Yeah, I, my one-liner is probably just like, what am I doing? That's not going to intimidate anyone. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? That could be reverse psychology, though. Exactly, that could that's be reverse what I'm psychology. To say. So for you guys at home, MLB have a game called RBI 20. So I challenge Els at this game. The rules are very simple. Two minutes on the home run derby. Winner goes scot free. Loser, pie to the face. We've taken the lead from MLB. The pie in the face. This is literally me after I've eaten dairy. The sound. <laughs> <laughs> Pie's ready? Yeah. Let's watch the clips. Boom! Look at that home run. Wait for it, can we get another one? Ooh! Ooh! Home run, baby. So he's already got two and I've got zero. It's going great. Boom! 
Boom! Another one. How do you time it like that? This is what I couldn't do it. Pi is calling me. Look at the fight. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Did you see how many of mine nearly went out and then it just didn't go out? So as you can see, mine was still going and you're still missing. See, it's just foul upon foul. Yeah, so you see that on mine? Fireworks. Right. Where's, your, where's yours? They, they're pending. Can't relate, I'm too busy hitting home runs. What am I doing? What, what, how do I play this game? Like, what am I doing? I like the fireworks. It, it brings joy to my life. It means I'm succeeding. And in this, in this home run derby, I was, you know. Oh, you did really well though, like. What do you mean I did well? In what, in what way? Bang, bang, yeah. You got two. So that was nine home runs for Jamel, who's a Cardinals fan, batting in LA, and Els had two. You yeah. know when it gets real and then you start actually having the fear of having the pie? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want the cold <laughs> whipped cream on my face. In three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's weak, that's weak, more! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's great. Oh. That's, that could have been me, guys. That could have been me. But it wasn't. It was Els. I'm happy about this. This makes me very happy. Els, it's almost like it never happened. Yeah, but it did because I can smell it. <laughs> well, now that you've had a taste of the game, we need to show you where you'll be playing on the field. Now, everyone's been watching The Last Dance. I'm sure you have as well. And in that series, they obviously showed Michael Jordan's foray into baseball. He played with the Chicago White Sox in the minor leagues. And his position at the time was right field. Now. We did try and recruit MJ, but he was busy this week. So are you okay playing in the great one's position? I mean, yeah. Like me and him are quite similar in life. We both exceed in our fields, you know? Um, <laughs> All right, well, let's have a look at the clips. So this is Mookie Betts, and he was a Red Sox, and he's now signed with the Dodgers. Can you dive, Els? That's, uh, yeah. that's handy. I, I can do just, what he just did, I'm on it. I can do just that. And this last one, Els, the runner is coming towards third base, so Betts has to get this ball from one end of the field to the next, and then his teammate has to tag him out. Now watch the replay. This is where you get Jeez. the full perspective of how far he throws it. Wow. And that's like a fast throw as well. It's not like he just threw it, it's like going like in the javelin, air. It's fast. Almost. So what do you think? I'm happy with that position. I'm really happy you put me there. But that's not all. As a basis covered all-star, you also get your own custom card. Let's take a look. It looks cool. very good. I love that. It looks <laughs> yes. very professional. Look at me. I look like I'm in the zone. I'm it looks, it do looks some very good. Right fielding. Elza, Speciality <laughs> complaining. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> What would be your biggest complaint when it comes to playing the game? So I probably would get annoyed mm. if the sun was in my eyes, if I was like right field oh, and the sun's in my eyes and I'm trying to catch a ball. I mean, I feel like mm -hmm. I've been fully initiated because I've taken a pie to the face. I feel like that's my <laughs> initiation into the team. And I'm just ready to like get on the field and, you know, score some runs and catch some balls. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Fans of the show will know that before the season was postponed, Jamel and I went to MLB's preseason, known as spring training. Whilst we were there, we saw two games involving huge rivals, the Chicago Cubs and St. Louis Cardinals. We asked the fans of each team what they thought of each other. The Cardinals yeah. are going, and they're playing the Cubs. Yeah. They're rivals. Probably the biggest in sports. It goes back over 100 years. So when they meet, it's just bad blood between them. Intense. Pretty intense. You get a lot of controversy between the two teams, and uh, I mean, the Cubs are better, so that's it. Cardinals are the best baseball team in the United States, they'll kick the crap out of the Cubs. We hate them. St. Louis is a trash town. When you go oh. to Cubs Stadium and get beer poured on you, you know, <laughs> there's a rivalry there. It's like the place you hate the most. Get a lot of security. <laughs> they have garbage food in St. Louis. When the Cubs come to town, they're not welcome. Uh, they are good drinkers though, I'll, I'll give them that. The Cubs-Cardinals rivalry, also known as the Route 66 rivalry, has been around for decades. But as you all know out there, there is a new team on the block. The bases covered All-Stars. Come on All-Stars! Last week, guys, we asked you, the viewers, to vote on our new logo. We gave you two options, logo one, logo two. I can now reveal the winner. Drum roll, please. The logo winning for us. Take your Cardinals hat and put a bases covered logo on top. We get some jerseys, you know, have it on the side of cars. You know, all newborn babies should have it encrusted on their chest. So that's it for this week's show. Make sure you check out next week's set all about commentary. Yes, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. Bye.